how we would like to greet our respected judges, our respected women, Father Keo Sebastian, and to all my dear friends present here, a very good morning. Where India respects all types of religion with its secular culture, and where India showed to the world that changes can be achieved by peace and satyagraha. Patriotism, how vibrant and comprehensive meaning it has. And today's topic, patriotism and nation building, is very relevant. Patriotism is that inherited love towards our country. Patriotism is a constructive, ongoing process in which every people of India, especially the youth, are involved in nation building, in building up social consciousness, in bringing infrastructure development, in bringing economic prosperity in every level in a democratic way. And so, before directly moving towards the topic, dear friends, I would like to speak on global and historical perspective of how patriotism become based on nation building. The year 1789 is considered as one of the most unforgettable years in human history. Why? Because ideas like fraternity, ideas like equality, ideas like liberty flourished in France revolution. And it not only changed French, but it changed the whole world with a new concept of patriotism. And on this context, we cannot forget American War of Independence because it stands, stands as one of the greatest examples in building up nations in, and in how patriotism became the base for nation building. And I would like to mention the Hiroshima and Nagasaki nuclear attacks, where the two bombs called Little Boy and Fat Man were dropped. The whole world thinks that it was the end of this, these two cities, but within a few years, these two, these two cities come up with enthusiasm, and the whole credit goes to patriotism, which is prevalent with the peoples of Japan. And on the context of Indian nationalism perspective, I would like to mention the freedom struggles made by Juba General Bose, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, and the freedom movement led by Mahatma Gandhi and Mangal Pandey. How they sacrifice their life for the sake of nation? Is this patriotism? As Mahatma Gandhi says that I am patriotic because I am human and human. And so, we need a person who is a true lover to our nation, who is a person to the core of human. So let's be that human and build up our nations. And patriotism. There are many hurdles faced by patriotism and nation building. Mentioning a few, regionalism, communalism, terrorism, and unemployment literacy. These are a few hurdles faced by patriotism. And on the other hand, spending taxes of time is patriotism and education or eradicating the social evils prevailing in India is patriotism and working with utmost dedication for Swatch Bharat is patriotism. Why Swatch Bharat is considered as patriotism? Because Swatch Bharat is to make a clean India, clean environment. And so, if we maintain clean India, the citizens of India will grow. If the citizens of India are healthy and grow stronger, though, the buildings of nations in India will improve because health is wealth. This is a fact. And I would like to speak about communalism. Communalism, it is a seed shown by the British when they colonized India. But unfortunately, it still flourished in Indian politicians for their own welfare gain and benefits. Their friends won't say that politics is dirty. Why? Because we, but we thought that politics is dirty, but because bad people involved in politics. No, it is not because bad people involved in politics. Because good people are not that important in politics, politics of India and even our state. And so I would like to suggest that every citizen of India has the right to vote for a good candidate. We, even the people of our nation, vote for the people who have quantity of wealth, but without looking the inner quality. So, we are, we must have sense to vote for the right candidate in order to build up a mighty nation. And I want to direct my attention towards the educational systems of India. You know how educational systems of India functions nowadays? Educational systems of India focus on only on scoring marks. I do not say, don't focus on scoring marks. Yes, we should focus on scoring marks because it is the chair of ours, us. But we should also focus on the social and moral activities and also encourage co-curricular activities to prosper, to make prosperity for our nations and to work for the welfare of our country. And without overcoming or without 
covered in social deviance like communalism, sorry, social deviance like regionalism, terrorism, terrorism, regionalist feeling. We could not build a mighty nations because these are the hindrance or hurdles that the nation building face. And so, in order to build up a mighty nations, we should ask what we can contribute for the country. And we need not to ask what our country can contribute for us. And there are also many things which the people of India are not united. We have we have the feelings of regionalism as earlier speakers have mentioned that we have the feelings of regionalism. Yes, we have the feelings of regionalism. But how can we eradicate that feelings of regionalism in each and every one of us? That means youth, youth are the pillars of nation. So youth must open up our minds, open up our ears and verify that we must not 